All right, so I'm not fooled by this uh, Robert Kraft as well as billionaire owner of the 76ers, the Philadelphia 76ers, that is, Michael Rubin, visited rapper Meek Mill. And, of course, you know, Meek Mill has gained a lot of press and a lot of buzz because of his um, probation violation um, where he has is still in prison for a probation violation. And obviously there's a lot of underlining things regarding corruption with the judge and the DA and all that stuff. That's, you know, obviously, um, uh, an issue there. Um, but because of that issue, you know, Meek Mill now has been more popular than ever. Um, you know, you have, you know, his former, I guess, uh, foe, if you will, Drake, who, you know, just last year, who said free Meek Mill. So you got a lot of the top rappers in hip hop saying free Meek Mill and, and stuff like that. And um, because of this, Meek Mill has gained even more popularity um, because of this issue of his probation violation, which has now reached the Pennsylvania um, higher court system, uh, the Supreme Court, I believe. And um, now you have pariahs billionaire pariahs like a Robert Kraft and Michael Rubin who want to utilize Meek Mill's star status in hip hop and the fact that, you know, he is aligned with not only the hip hop, you know, crowd, but the streets. So he can connect with both areas. So as someone like a Robert Kraft who donated tens of millions of dollars to Clockwork Orange a.k.a. Donald Trump, right? And we all know that uh, someone like a Robert Kraft supports Donald Trump and his initiatives of systemic oppression, a.k.a. white supremacy. We know this. So now you have a guy like a Robert Kraft who wants to utilize Meek Mill's star status for prison reform. This is all a political move for, you know, utilizing... Someone like a, a Meek Mill, their star status, and using the endless amount of funds that someone like a Robert Kraft can do and his resources to do this so-called prison reform that, you know, he's trying to do. I, you know, I'm not fooled by this. And, you know, you shouldn't be fooled by this either. This is one of the oldest tricks in the books where a suspected white supremacist can come out and act like they care, want to align themselves around black people uh, in the entertainment industry, et cetera. Robert Kraft has, you know, always try to be around the, you know, the popular black entertainers, the Jay-Z's of the world, the puppies of the world, you know, taking pictures with other rappers, Rick Ross and, you know, things like that. And doing shows on complex with sneaker shopping, trying to line himself around that realm so that the blow can be softened. Right. When you know that he comes out as a, as a full blown white supremacist, you, you know, and, and that's a mind game that these white supremacists play. Right. They want to soften the blow when they come out and show their true colors. But again, this is an initiative of him using Robert Kraft using Meek Mill as a political pawn for a so-called prison reform. See, that's the problem. Right. When you're doing this. Right now, you're utilizing Meek Mill star status. And of course, there's millions of black people in prison right now that are in prison unjustly. We know this. It's a broken system. Well, it's the system is working as it should, I should say. The system is working as it should, but it's broken for black people because black people are, as I said before, are dead in the eyes of the law, a.k.a. Civilitaire Mortius. We are dead in the eyes of the law. We consider three fifths of a person. Right. So, you know, again, if this was genuine, then the problem with the prison system would have been eradicated since day one. You know, there was a recent study that just came out a few years ago that uh, black people are incarcerated in state prisons five times more than whites. This has always been a problem. But now all of a sudden when Meek Mill's in jail and the fact that he's been in jail and his 
you know, his uh, probation violation um, and the, the story behind that has gotten a, a, a lot of attention, uh, immediate attention, and his star status is even more popular than it was before. Now you want to align yourself and say, hey, I want to do something about the, the, the prison system and, and change it. When uh, it's, it's been like that since day one. Why don't you go after Hillary and Bill Clinton with their 1994 crime bill? Come on, really? You know? Why don't you go after the fact that suspected race soldiers are out here murdering unarmed black men, women, and children consistently on a day-to-day -day basis? You see? They're, they're not, they're not, they're not going to go after the law enforcement at all. Because that's a protected, that's a protected group. Right? But you want to play Captain Save a Negro with Meek Mill and act like you care about black people in prison and being wrongly accused and, and, and wrongly prosecuted and, and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So again, this is just a political pawn move by Robert Kraft, who is a staunch clockwork orange, AKA Donald Trump supporter. Um, and you know, again, this is, this is something that is, this is a snake oil salesman tactic. That's what it is. You know, this, this, this so-called prison reform that he's trying to, this trying to do, you know, isn't genuine and it's not going to do anything collectively for black people specifically at all whatsoever. All this does is, you know, this aligns Robert Kraft and this guy who is the, uh, Philadelphia 76's uh, majority owner. All this does is makes their cachet bigger by aligning themselves with a hip hop star like Meek Mill and talking politics, prison reform, deregulation. When we know, you know, the, the basis of this is, is not genuine. It's not. So I, I'm not fooled by this. Not at all. You know, not at all. And this is the same guy that's again, what you see this article here, who uh, is a part of the NFL collusion case. All right. From Colin Kaepernick from last year, remember? And Robert Kraft's name was was brought up. As part of the NFL slave owners making sure that Colin Kaepernick does not get a job in the NFL. Right? Same guy. And, and don't get me started on new, new, uh, the New England Patriots. Don't get me started on that team. The whole team is the epitome of getting the advantage, meaning cheating. They had a history of it, a history of it, right? And I'm glad they lost this this most recent Super Bowl to the Philadelphia uh, Eagles, right? But like I said before, family, this is you know this is a political move tactic. This is a snake oil salesman tactic trying to use Meek Mill star status to leverage a political move for prison reform and deregulation. Of the prison system when, when this guy is a full-blown staunch supporter of clockwork orange aka donald trump this does absolutely nothing for black people it's just aligning himself with white supremacy and the lead the new age leader of white supremacy donald trump aka clockwork orange that's all this does all right, family. So those are my quick thoughts on this story. I'll have the link for the story in the description. Um, there's an interview where um, Robert Kraft is talking about how, you know, Meek Mill is a great guy and he's known him for a few, a few years. And every time I see him, he's more intelligent and he's a great guy. And, you know, I, I want to help change the prison. We all know that's BS. Not fooled by that. That's BS. All right, so those are my quick thoughts on that. Leave your comments down below in the comment section, family. Until next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out.